Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, today I'm going to show you another cool little trick using which you will be able to create seamless PBR materials with stable diffusion and control net. So uh, this will be a pretty short video and let's not waste any more time and begin. First we need to go to automatic 11.11 settings, uh, type tiling in search bar and enable it. Apply and changes and let's test it with a very simple prompt. Uh, to check the results, I drop the image to Krita and use a wraparound mode. And yeah, as you can see, everything is seamless. Now we need to make our generations more controllable and predictable. For this we're gonna use ControlNet extension. In this case I just draw abstract blurred shapes also in wraparound mode uh, to use the image as a depth input of control net. Uh, in our case we don't need uh, to use preprocessor here, because our image is already black and white and kinda depth map. Of course you can use other types of control nets like Kenny and Scribble, but for this tutorial we will stick only to the depth. Uh, now we can check our result in Krita, and everything works fine. Um, from here I will speed up the video a lot while I play with prompts and trying to get something useful out of it. For the final part, to make a PBR texture pack from stable diffusion images, I'm gonna use a substance sampler. Just drop the image to the Layers tab and select Image to Material Template with B2M mode. I've tried to use AI powered mode, but find that B2M is more controllable and works better for me. Uh, now we can tweak settings for our height, normal and roughness maps generation. You can enable 2D view window to better see what's happening with each texture. And here is a quick test with procedural water effect on our material to see how it works with generated height maps. Uh, don't forget to rotate your environment and preview mesh to better see how the material is working while tweaking the parameters. And that's pretty much it for this short tutorial and here are a couple more examples of these materials. By the way guys, what do you think about this shorter format of the videos or it's better to make 10-20 minutes uh, with a lot of rambling? There are pros and cons to both. I don't know, leave a comment. And yeah, that's all for today, see ya.